some differences in terms of uh, the unionized work at Electric Lux as opposed to the work in Somali. Can you expound upon those differences? have a union, because we just, if you get a job, you just work on the day you apply, you just walk away. Nobody knows how it's a union. <laughs> why is, my fellow, why he says that's a big difference, is that he, when we came here in the United States, and maybe I think this was his second job, according to what he told me, he didn't have to us when we applied and we joined the union, we had seen a lot of things, a lot of difference, of which back home we didn't have it. In Africa, you don't need to have a union. You don't need to join a union. You just go and apply the job. If you get it, you're lucky. If you don't, you just walk away. And if you get maybe two, three days, you get a misunderstanding with the youth. I mean, your boss will be just kicked out of the door. So that's why the most different thing. But Chase is quite different. You have a union, and you know where to go if you have a problem, and you know where who can help you and who can go and ask help. Just to follow up around a little bit, I'm just curious about the, uh, the communication between the African communities here and the African communities in, in Africa. Of the, as you explained, you know, some of the rights that we have here, how much is that contributing to the unrest that's back in the African countries and, and will play a part in Yeah, it's really useful to, uh, for those people who actually went to school here or who have actually worked with companies. Normally back home, we don't have a first base companies that manufactures a lot of things, but it's really useful to actually implement the rules that we learned here. We can send it back there and there. In fact, there are some companies who are using those rules right now, but we don't have big companies like Electrolux or other that you know, supply is worldwide distribution. But it's really useful to, uh, to reuse the, the resources here back home. Well, I, I, I promised you only one or two questions. I think we've already taken three questions. So as always, we academics are <laughs> insensitive to the working class's needs. But in any event, um, in all seriousness, I, I greatly appreciate the, 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 the both of you coming and participating in, in, in this panel uh, and enlightening us on uh, the realities of, of work life uh, in your particular situation.
situation and the way that that uh, you know, affects your community uh, and is part of the uh, overall question of immigrants and immigrant rights and also multiculturalism. Uh, very often this is the part of the picture that gets just dropped out and people only talk about people misunderstanding each other's religion or culture, uh, but the reality is the economic power and the way in which unions have helped immigrants achieve that is part of this story if we're serious about multiculturalism. Uh, so, 